Hello my friends and welcome back to Max DM Crafting. Today I want to show you how I built this. Let's face our fear and let's build a sinister chapel. This will be a quite long video, so I decided to split it in two. So in this part we will build together a dark, sinister, little, not so little, chapel. But before start the building process, please consider, consider to support this channel through Patreon. Uh, Patreon is a fantastic way to support me, to give me some resources so I can uh, create and continue to do this video on YouTube. Remember guys, for this channel I don't have a budget. The only resources that I have is the donations that are coming from Patreon, from PayPal, from you. If you think that my work is of some utility for the, for the community, please consider to help and to support it, okay? I'm waiting for you. But now, and let's start this epic building. First of all, I used my faithful graphic chipboard and I designed the base of my little church. Thanks to the Proxen, I prepared a series of basic elements. 7mm thick walls, wooden beams and various elements such as bricks and etc. Once I have designed the desired shape, I have pasted what will be the playable floor of the chapel. I immediately added dimension and depth with cracks and increasing the definition of the tiles with my pen. The creative process, for my modest opinion, must be dynamic. The initial project must provide a valid support, but it must not block the ideas that arise from time to time. In short, the middle way between projectuality and improvisation is the right compromise. To see in concrete terms what the final result would have been like, I immediately reproduced the chapel dimensions with cardboard, so as to have a 3D vision of the building.
Once assembled the four walls and satisfied with the proportions, I went ahead. Using only a thin layer of hot glue, it is really very easy to remove it, to pick it up individual pieces again. At this point I started to cover the walls with my usual brickwork. Check my tutorial number 3 for details on this technique. To corner the walls together, I used the same technique that you can find in the second episode of my mini windmill series. Take a look! For the windows, I use the usual quick and easy technique of my walls with windows. Check my tutorial number 13. The front rose is a piece of costume jewelry inserted in a circular cutout, easy and fast. At this point I decided to give more depth to the base, adding a line of bricks. So I prepared the support for the lateral buttresses, prepared with slice of foam, as you can see here.
Once the four identical pieces were completed, I placed them on the sides of the building and later I've made the shape of the base more interesting. When the work was completed, I added three blocks to keep the church in place, as you can see here. The door. Using the piece of cardboard cut out at the start, I created what would later become an iron door. No wood grains, only holes for metal rivets and side reinforcements. By partially cutting the card in the middle, I simulated a partially open door. For the handles, I simply placed two rings and covered them with a couple of drops of super glue. The roof was built in a few simple steps, first with the chipboard and then uh, them. At this point I realized that I had really gone too far with the mess. The table of a crafter should be like that of a surgeon, of a great chef, always clean and tidy. If you can't, just like me, at least try to take small breaks and uh, tidy up a little. You will see that it will be like taking a breath of fresh air and you will start again with more energy. As I said, the roof was built in a few simple steps, as I imagined a structure covered in large metal sheets. I first placed everything and then cut the excess.
With cardboard, I simulated the reinforcement belts. At this point, the details. What is more creepy than a quantity of skulls inserted instead of bricks? Here, I used the skulls from the Citadel box. They are fantastic. I then added a tombstone, a lantern, a sign and a small niche to the back. I then enriched the base with stones to make the texture less monotonous. The construction of the bell tower was a very rapid succession of eye measurements, geometry and personal taste. Take a look. I took the shape of the bell tower roof from a truncated pyramid, surmounted by a pointed quadrilateral pyramid. I like this shape, 
it is not trivial and gives a somewhat more elaborate appearance to an otherwise too simplistic piece. For the bell, unfortunately, I had nothing better at my hand, so I used a strange little gem, tying it to a rope. I think it was effective enough to reach the final result. I added a couple of beams to compensate for the somewhat too decentralized position of the bell tower. For the symbol of a religious cult, I looked around a lot, before finding an interesting part of a toy catapult. Sometimes the ideas are hidden in uh, unexpected places. If you're not too scared, next time we'll paint this little girl together. Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you very like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, happy crafting! Thank you.